hang on to that. Yes, he can. And John Smith in the Chevy Monster just said, well, ta-da, I'll have the lead. And Smithy flew to the front. Look at him go. John Smith in the Chevy Monza. Milford's through and out after him. Bevan and Garrett and McHugh, where are they going? Bevan's handled that magnificently in a big fishtail. He straightened it up all right. Oh, there's action all over the place. John Smith is in the lead. Graham Milford in the street and strip Tirana. Oh, look at Garrett coming. Oh, boy. Garrett collides into Bevan. McHugh throws it sideways to Miss Bevan. And there's a hell of a holocaust at the back of the pack. Oh, that's a nice way to put it. That's one hell of a bingle, I'll say. No question. Oh, they rushed in there, boy. I couldn't get away the way Smithy rushed away from the start. He was like a dog out of the boxes. He just said, there's the green flag. I am off. And, of course, let's not take it away from John Smith. He's a former Australian TQ car champion, John Smith. And uh, he knows how to handle cars. Don't worry about that. Oh, there's some skill out there, Rod, that's for sure. Let's, you know, I mean, this is all good, hard, tough sedan racing. But you've got to have the skill to keep yourself uh, sorted out. And all those fellas managed to keep themselves sorted out despite what tit-tat was going on. Now, let's see how they are reorganised in the field. A caution flag is coming here. And a caution flag going on Gary Bevan. And a caution flag on Peter Garrett. Bevan and Garrett have been officially cautioned. A little bit of a tate-a-tate. John Smith will be our race leader when the flag goes green. Let's have no two ways about that. Coming into the main straight, we're letting him go. John Smith away. Bevan's going hard into turn one. He's got it sorted out all right, though. And he's up into third place at the moment. It's John Smith away from Graham Lilford. Gary Bevan holding down third, the little mini trying to climb in the boot. Oh, McHugh's shovel his nose in underneath Bevan there. Bevan's leaning back on top of McHugh. McHugh's leaning out on Bevan. Oh, he threw it across the front of McHugh. Oh, magic speedway. Look at these three. McHugh's pushing Bevan out of the way. Oh, wow -ee. Oh, unbelievable. That cannot be. is it ever. John Smith is in the lead. Graham Lilford is in second place. There's some damage There's a there. a black flag out, Rod. A black flag. Oh, yeah, a black flag here. Can we get a message what car the black flag is for? Could you check the black flag for us, please? Officially and positively. The black, the black flag is officially for car 14, Paul McHugh. McHugh has been excluded. Paul McHugh excluded. That's the word from the tower, Rod. We'll see how yes, it's Yes, here it is. There's the black flag of Paul McHugh. McHugh with the black flag. He has been excluded. Bevan gets the black flag too and obviously uh, that uh, was because he got out of the car and broke his uh, harness. I'd say that would be the reason. Right, oh, Rod, I missed that. I was uh, getting confirmation from the tower. Now let's see what's happening here. Placing. It'll be 
it'll come through in just a moment. We don't have that. All right, so that settles down the tension. That settles down the uh, activity that was on circuit there at that point of time. And 41, John Smith in the Smith Smash Repairs Monza is officially declared first. 67, Graham Lilford in the Street and Strip A9X Tirana is officially declared second. We'll settle back for heat two of the wins or lose production sedan star sprint. Oh, 
Melbourne. Well, one hell of a lot of action again in that one. Great stuff indeed by the top drivers in Australia and a very good win to Stu Robertson in a Datsun that I felt was getting a little tired. Bugs Burrell up there into second place and Peter Unwin third. The time, 157.54. 157.546 and here's Ross for the officials. Rod, you feel sorry but that was Gary Searle's first drive in A grade tonight and to come up against the big boys like that uh, I suppose it's got to start somewhere and that's how it started for Gary Searle. And I didn't help him any by calling him Sullings a so, couple of times. There's Stewie Robbo doing his lap of honour in the RH Taylor Datsun number four. Car 18 Brian Burrell in the Burrell Haulage Mini was second. Car 37 of Peter Unwin in the Unwin Engineering Falcon was third. Car 7, Carl Jeffrey in the JC Performance Camaro was fourth. And car 118, Don McEwen in the Chevy Monza was fifth, with Gary Searle and Dennis Goodwin failing to finish the course. Good start, too, on a terrace that jumps to the front from Jeffrey. But Jeffrey whipped round the outside of Watkins, and Jeffrey, the New South Wales champion, has taken up the running here. Sullings, uh, then uh, Gordon Cox, there's trouble, Sullings has wheeled, whammo, there's a bingo there, yes sirree, oh boy, it's a night of real action here tonight, they're going every, there's the green and they're away and this time it's Harris that still goes to the front from Watkins in the mini, there's Carl Jeffrey tucked away nicely, uh, he's uh, looking uh, for the open spaces, away again and uh, there's uh, Harris going very wide there from Jeffrey followed by Paul McHugh who's got through. Uh, remember McHugh is under the caution flag. Peter Garrett is up there looking to get under Gordon Cox then Brian Burrell followed by Unwin on the outside is Lilford. Going through the middle there is Stu Robertson with a great piece of driving but round the corner comes the leader and it's Harris but there's uh, Carl Jeffrey to take up the running and that's the current New South Wales title holder Carl Jeffrey leading away from Bill Harris who's doing it very well too and then Paul McHugh uh, behind him comes Peter Garrett on the outside of Garrett is Gordon Cox they're followed by Brian Burrell John Smith then Stu Robertson uh, 118 is McEwen uh, there's Robertson gone very wide allowing both Butwin and Lilford in underneath him third last is uh, Searle then we've got uh, Let's have a look. That's Nesbitt, second last, and last of all is Watkins. Well, the New South Wales title holder has taken the bit in his teeth now, and he's left right away out in front, but McHugh has sorted himself out from the ruck and set sail here after uh, Carl Jeffrey. Bill Harris still hanging on in third place and doing it well too. Uh, followed then by Peter Garrett and Brian Burrell, then Peter Unwin and John Smith and the Monza. Then comes Gordon Cox from Graham Lilford, followed by Stu Robertson, then Don McEwen. Third last is uh, Graham uh, Searle, then Nesbitt, and last of all is Watkins. But it's Carl Jeffrey, the leader. Carl Jeffrey, the current New South Wales title holder, away from the David Datsun car. Paul McHugh driving it, and it's gone. Uh, Paul McHugh's mini is gone. He's pulled out of the event now. That leaves Harris back in second place, and by G. Harris is doing it very well indeed. 51 is Peter Garrett, 18 is Brian Bowell, 41 is Smith. There's a car track side, he's gone into the fence, and that's Peter Unwin. Peter Unwin into the fence there, but we can run under the green here. I think Unwin's far enough out. No, he isn't. They're away. Jeffrey once again jumps to the lead, but it's that gains a place and so too does Stu Robertson and Graham Lilford looking for Harris who's dropped back now to fifth spot but it's Carl Jeffrey the leader. Jeffrey away here from Brian Burrell in the car 18 followed by Stu Robertson then comes Graham Lilford from Harris, Gordon Cox, Don McEwen, Graham Searle followed then by John Nesbitt and last of all is Tony Watkins. Down the back straight away they go with five laps to run from here Five laps to run, and it's still uh, Carl Jeffrey, the leader. Jeffrey away here from Brian Bowles underneath him. Bowles has dived in underneath Jeffrey, but Jeffrey closed it up again. Bucks didn't have enough to go on with it. There was a great belch of sound out of a car there. Hey, it could well have been.
Dana Toya, but it's still Carl Jeffrey. Jeffrey and Burrell, followed by Stu Robertson, then Graham Lilford, followed by Bill Harris, Gordon Cox, Don McEwen, Graham Searle, John Nesbitt, and Peter, at least uh, Watkins, bringing up the rear. But all interest up front here and a great tussle going on uh, between these four lead cars. There's Lilford trying to make it a little more difficult there for Stuart Robertson, but it's Carl Jeffrey that hangs on to the lead. Carl Jeffrey, the New South Wales champion, away from Brian Burrell in the little mini. And the mini is sandwiched between this, uh, uh, the car of Jeffrey and uh, Stuart Robertson. Burrell looking for the inside, but that's classic driving by Jeffrey. He tidies it up as they take it into the corner there. And he puts that tyre well up alongside the windrow, not allowing Burrell any room at all. But it's Jeffrey with one to go from Burrell. Followed then by Stu Robertson and Graham Lilford. And all the interest is up there. Don McEwen well back. And so is the rest of the field. But it's Jeffrey the leader and he might hang on long enough to win it, I'd say. The checkered flag is coming out. And it's Carl Jeffrey, the New South Wales title holder, in seven from Burrell in 18. Stu Robertson in four. Graham Lilford in six. 67, McEwen in 118, 20 is Gordon Cox, Bill Harris in 15, and Graham Searle in 79. Well, a good win to the New South Wales champion, Carl Jeffries, and a fine drive there, too, by Bucks Burrell, uh, who obviously uh, overcome the pain of that injured uh, arm. 